scientists and engineers from Kyoto University in Japan in collaboration with the logging company Sumitomo Forestry are creating the world's first biodegradable satellite that will be made of wood. They plan to call this satellite a CubeSat, Lignosat. The team plans to use magnolia wood, which in experiments on the International Space Station proved was resilient to cracking in outer space and other forms of physical damage. The plan to build a wooden satellite has come from the objective of reducing space pollution and space debris, which are objects and particles like flecks of paint that float around in orbit spanning several kilometers around Earth. These objects and tiny particles pose a huge risk to orbiting spacecraft and satellites of collision, which would theoretically be quick to spiral out of control in an atmosphere-less space. This is not a brand new project. This team has been planning this since 2020. In fact, in 2020, one of the engineers from Kyoto University told BBC that when satellites re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and burn up, they create tiny alumina particles which will float in the upper atmosphere for many, many years. And of course, if it's in the upper atmosphere, it it will affect the environment of Earth. Since 2020, this team has been working on the project, experimenting and evaluating different types of wood to understand their resilience in outer space. After the first series of tests, which were held in labs in Japan and that recreated outer space conditions, the samples of wood were then sent to the International Space Station. Here, they were exposed to the outer space, the harsh conditions of the atmosphere-less vacuum for almost a year. When the spacecraft will fly and which rocket will launch it is yet to be determined and announced. But the CubeSat is expected to fly this year in 2024 and operate in space for at least six months. The use of Lignosat, this small CubeSat that can be held in one's palm, will be a pioneer of environmentally friendly satellites. Multiple studies in the last nearly a decade have shown that particles and metals released from rocket and satellite bodies in orbit, including from craft that burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, can go on to damage and poke holes in the Earth's ozone layer. So what was the process behind picking this wood and building the satellite? For the mission, many different types of wood were tested, including Japanese cherry wood, among other things. Before Magnolia came out the winner after almost a year-long exposure to outer space on board the ISS. Doi himself, the scientist we quoted earlier, visited the space station back in 2008. He, in fact, became the first person to play with a boomerang, microgravity boomerang that was built specifically to be thrown in outer space without vacuum. Now, while the boomerang did come back to him and was retrieved, more serious objects contribute to space pollution and space debris. Decommissioned and dysfunctional satellites are still in orbit and most of them are unmaneuverable. They also move at really, really high speeds because they are basically falling because of Earth's gravity and going around Earth. These bits of metal and paint and even decommissioned spacecraft go almost at speeds of 28,800 kilometers per hour in low Earth orbit. Collision of one particle or an object with a craft, both traveling at these extremely high speeds, could break up the entire satellite theoretically into thousands of pieces. This in turn can spread debris across orbits and various heights and this could lead to a scenario that is often described as Kessler syndrome. This is one where the density of objects in low earth orbit is so high that any collision leads to a runaway effect of more and more collisions all around the orbit. This is not unimaginable. Today, there are almost 8,500 satellites orbiting us, of which nearly half are non-functional and constitute space debris. And of course, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos plan to launch thousands more. Wooden satellites will either burn up fully when they re-enter due to the flammability of wood, or fall down to Earth as biodegradable material that would not cause any environmental damage, both in soil and in the atmosphere or in the oceans. This is a huge advantage when working with organic material. And what about the safety of organic material when out in space? 
these satellites are not at risk from the elements in outer space because as the tests with the ISS showed, there is no oxygen in space that could lead to the wood burning or any kind of fire or burn damage. And of course, there is no life in outer space that could create rot.